So let's talk about the overall State of the Union. What is going on on this Sunday, March 27th with the crypto market? Okay, so looking pretty good today. Um, got a nice kind of good day, right? Not a massive day, not a down day, if you will, as far as a percentage of pricing, you know, pricing up or down. You got the overall market up uh, 1% and 2.1 trillion. Uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum right there, uh, respectively, in the last 24 hour in that 1%. Uh, we got Bitcoin back down to 44.657. Let me look. Yeah. So our last 24 hour high is 44.8. Now I want to show you to yesterday um, in that in that 24 hour period that it preceded it, we were at we, we, we were at like $44,999 and like 18 cents. It was actually kind of really funny how we got, you know, uh, we were within pennies, if you will, or dimes. Uh, yeah, something like 50 cents or whatever. The, don't do math in public. You get my point. Um, of 50 of, of, excuse me, of 45,000, okay? So we've got to get past that 45,000 um, mark. Uh, now, Ethereum holding really, really nicely above 3,000. Thank goodness, right? Um, we need to see it continue to run. But, you know, our seven-day runs. But you know, if, you look at the, if you look at the chart action, kind of got a little bit of a nice, somewhat small rise here. Um, fully expect to have a decent week. But let's look real quickly. I, want to look, I haven't done this. Let's look real quickly over on Yahoo Finance. You guys know I use Yahoo a lot to kind of uh, look at kind of what's going on with the overall market conditions. And uh, let me see if I'm just seeing anything else here uh, kind of going on. BlackRock CEO, Biden, do not do, 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 do. Yeah, I mean, Sunday tends to be um, a little bit of a slow day. Um, yeah, slow day right here. Okay. So cool. Um, hey, this just reminded me there was something about uh, right here, this 401k. Uh, I do talk about this print in a lot of my videos. There's a referral link below to iTrust Capital. Check that out. It's a it's a uh, where you can create an IRA retirement account, basically use before be tax dollars to create an IRA, a retirement account. Uh, everybody should have one. I use iTrust Capital myself, okay? And, and, buy, and you can buy and sell crypto. In that referral link below, it's free to create an account. And secondly, um, if you fund the account with a little bit of money, then um, I trust to put a hundred bucks in your account for you. So it's a win-win. And yes, it's a referral situation from me. So, but I use these guys myself. Why not? Why not? This is a cool, cool. And you can, it's crypto. I think to my knowledge, it's the only one you can, it's the only, it's the only IRA retirement account where you can buy and sell crypto. It's pretty, pretty cool. Okay. So yeah, seven days. We're looking good here as far as that. Now let's look real quickly at what are some run-ups. Oh my God. Uh, Zill has run up 163%. Goodness. That wasn't, that, that one was not on my radar. Wow. I wonder what, I might, might want to dig into that one. That's like screaming hot. Uh, Convex Finance, again, not familiar with that one. Uh, these could be new entrants uh, coming into the top 100 per se, uh, up 40, 48%, uh, $29. Um, Ethereum Classic has backed off of a little bit. It's a seven day. It was up like 76%. It's crazy. VeChain, love to see VeChain there. Axie, I'm a, a long time fan of Axie. Cardano has continued to... Uh, uh, it's flat right now, which doesn't really surprise me because of overall market conditions. But Cardano has woken up a little bit. It's it's um, off of its highs just a little bit. It, it hit like a dollar seventeen or so in the last uh, in the last bit. ApeCoin, hey, it's back to where I bought it. Excellent. It dropped all the way down to like thirteen bucks. You know, ApeCoin's an interesting one. I think it's going to continue to be very very relevant, and I think it's I think ApeCoin is going to be a top twenty um, uh, uh, token in the near future. I think it, it just is. And because you, you see a lot of metaverse plays uh, putting their hand up and saying, we will, you know, different metaverse plays, by the way, we will accept ApeCoin in our, in our respective metaverse world, you know, as, as a, as a utility token, things of that nature. So uh, yeah, we got some good stuff going on, but, but these are interesting. These, these are screaming up. So you may want to check those out and see if they kind of fit, not investing advice, right? See if they kind of fit inside of your investing strategy. Um, our fear and greed index is looking really good. I talk about this all the time. I love this neutral. I like us to be neutral because again, neutral is good in the crypto world. It's kind of an even, we're in the middle of kind of that fear and greed. Now they use the word greed. I prefer to use the word confidence, okay? Um, you know, so, and that neutral doesn't mean we're oversold or overbought or any, any of those kind of scenarios. And I, I like that. Now, on a way, as, as far as wrapping up, I want to show you, because I've talked about this in previous videos. Uh, this is an article I've kind of kept up and continued to refer back to, uh, is that is that Bitcoin has been showing some very bullish indicators. So uh, since just, uh, the, it, has, as it has had, for the most part, an ascending support line since January 2-4, and has been validated four plus times, uh, MACD, 
uh, short and long-term uh, moving averages are increasing if crossed into positive territory. And RSI, which has a momentum indicator, is increasing above uh, 50, uh, which is considered bullish. Now here's the key, okay? So bef back in October 2021, when, when Bitcoin screamed up, all of these indicators were in play, like they are now, okay? So they these indicators preceded, came before the 41% plus run up that Bitcoin had back in October of 2021. Point is, is that the, the, we're seeing all these same technical indicators for Bitcoin, which is interesting. Now, if even if you don't own Bitcoin, this is relevant, right? Because we always, I always talk about this in my videos, is that if we can get Bitcoin and Ethereum to turn back on, and if we get a 40 plus percent rise in Bitcoin, we're back pretty much in $60,000 territory price for Bitcoin, and that will pull every single other altcoin up along with it. Now, I always like to kind of cut that in half. If we go 20 plus percent, we're back into the high 50s. And again, that will uh, continue to spark and pull along all, all the other altcoins with it. So just FYI, keep your eye on that. Um, but we got some interesting things playing out. Now, we also have, again, we still have the Russia-Ukraine war situation out there. That's not changed, okay? Um, we'll continue to kind of have to see how that develops. But uh Right here, right now, I'm going to take today as kind of a nice, a nice win. So that's what I got for you right now. As always, I appreciate you. See you later.